Hello family, grace to you. Once again, this is Greg coming to you from faithsmessenger.com. Today I want to talk about walking in the Spirit. Walking in the Spirit. The Bible says, if we walk in the Spirit, we shall not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. 1 Corinthians 12, 1 also says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. It's the believer's responsibility to present our bodies as living sacrifices. I personally have been challenged in that area, particularly where food and where my diet is concerned. Before I was married, sexual sin was my vice. I got married and I somewhat sidestepped that issue. Now that I'm married, sex is not an issue as far as sin is concerned. And I feel now that I'm married, it's something that I never had the opportunity to overcome. I never had the opportunity to present my body and to overcome that challenge but I still lust that lust has now switched objects and now it's food now it's in the arena of diet and it's an area that I'm determined to overcome presenting our bodies our bodies are our battlefield our bodies are our most difficult object that we need to overcome here in this life if we could get rid of these bodies, serving God would be a piece of cake. It's our bodies that weigh us down. It's our bodies that hold us back. So, sex was replaced with appetite, with food, as my lust. And I thank God because I've been given the opportunity to present my body, to overcome my physical weight. Uh, I want to present myself in a way that's pleasing to God. I want to be able to be an example of His Word. And I'm taking the challenge to change my way, to subdue my body as, to, as far as my appetite and what I consume meat is concerned. So I would issue a challenge to you if you're listening to this video and food is your vice. I issue a challenge to you. Let's do this together. Let's become accountability partners. Um, feel free to drop me a line and let me know what you're going through. We can build one another up because I'm determined to present my body. I've got a new opportunity to overcome the flesh and present my body and I'm choosing to do it where food, where my appetite is concerned. I am sharing God's Word with people and appearance speaks volumes. How can I in good conscience preach that we should walk in the Spirit and not fulfill the lust of the flesh and I weigh 300 pounds. Not that I weigh 300 pounds, but if I'm overweight and if I'm not presenting God in a positive light where my weight is concerned. You see, that's an area where people can see. I may not be able to see your sin. You may be able to do things in the booth, in the back, in the corner, in the dark, that nobody will ever be aware of. But our lust for food can be evident. It's evident. It can't be hidden. So if I cannot overcome my flesh and in the process I'm displaying to the world that I obviously cannot overcome my flesh in the food realm, how can I in good conscience, how can we in good conscience preach, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh? And if I am in a position where you can see that failure, lack of self-control in me, who's to say what else I'm doing that you can't see? Think about that. We are supposed to be examples of Christ. 
So if I'm failing and in that area of food, you can see that I'm failing, who's to say that I'm above board in everything else? So I would challenge you, let's get it together. Let's be examples of him. Let's strengthen one another. Let's walk this walk together and overcome our bodies where our diets are concerned. I personally am determined to present my body. I'm personally determined to overcome my flesh in that arena. If you would like to take that walk, take that challenge with me, let's support one another. Let's do it together. Let's become accountability partners. Feel free to drop me a line, faithsmessenger at gmail.com, and let's take this challenge together and overcome together. Once again, I thank you for your time. I would encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're not already a subscriber. And to our new community that we've unveiled just this morning, actually, micro-ministries.com is a community of YouTubers, Christian YouTubers, where we will support, encourage, um, lend SEO tips. The purpose of the community is to get more exposure for our YouTube channels, for our YouTube video. There's so much great Christian content on YouTube that needs to be exposed. And that was what this community was born out of. Uh, once again, it's micro-ministries.com and I'll place the link in the description below. Have a great day, family. I love you, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye-bye.